major news from Stellantis and in this video I'm gonna focus on two of the highlights from their global press event in Amsterdam and I'm gonna show you the Jeep EV and the teaser images for the Ram 1500 that is also going to be fully electric so let's jump in and have a look first at this article from Car and Driver let's see what this is all about so Jeep's first EV is coming in 2023 Ram says its EV will beat all competitors and that is a pretty bold statement we're gonna talk about that more later in this video and I'm also gonna show you this Jeep EV and talk about this design in Photoshop specifically the use of graphic design to make it look a lot slimmer than what it is and then show you that uh, the similar approach I had with the recent Nissan Leaf redesign I did on the first channel and how it's applied here in a very very cool way so let's have a look at what's going on with the Stellantis brand they said today that we're gonna bring out the first fully electric Jeep early in 2023 the images that we have it shows the size similar to the Jeep Compass but no name or details were provided yet the Jeep EV is only one of 100 planned EVs from Stellantis by 2023 so they are gonna be busy designing new EVs the next 10 years or so and this of course it, it, it's not just gonna be Jeeps and stuff like that it's gonna include electric muscle cars and family vehicles as well so one of the big big highlights here is of course this Jeep EV that's coming early 2023 and we don't know if it's going to be a brand new design or a brand new car or a conversion from an existing model by the look of it it kind of looks like a Jeep Compass and that would also reduce cost obviously and I think that's a good idea because then we're gonna have more of a normal looking small SUV than a bean shaped electric SUV and I think this design looks really good we're gonna talk more of that in Photoshop in just a minute and this will come out before the Wrangler EV, which is set to arrive in 2024, as you can see right there. And then the second highlight of this global uh, press release is that the, the Ram 1500 is coming out in 2024. There's also going to be a Ram Promaster van in late 2023. But I think the Ram 1500 is what's really exciting here because they say that it will beat all other electric trucks, including the Rivian R1T, Ford F-150 Lightning, Chevy Silverado EV, and even the Tesla Cybertruck not in performance 0 to 60 which I think isn't that important when you talk about a pickup truck but what really matters here is the range towing payload and charging time and I think if they actually live up to this statement I think the Ram 1500 truck is going to be a fantastic machine so in addition to these two models Stellantis is also going to launch as I said the Wrangler EV in 2024 in addition to lifestyle family SUVs from Jeep as well as Dodge first electric described as a performance muscle car I really hope they're gonna base that design on the Challenger because I think that looks so good and I can see it being turned into a very very cool performance EV Chrysler of course is also gonna join the EV party in 2025 for example we saw the airflow concept at CES I think that looks pretty good a little generic but still it's cool that Chrysler is still in the picture at all so the big goal here is to have 50% of US sales being EVs by 2030 and that should be a hundred hundred percent in Europe which I think is going to be a very very hard thing to do specifically thinking of the infrastructure that isn't really there yet that fast of a change creates some interruption that's gonna be really hard to tackle but who knows it might be able to pull it off I still think there is a market for internal combustion engines for specific cars so daily drivers they can all be EVs I don't care but when you have performance cars and when you have uh, hyper cars and special cars I think they still could get away with have an internal combustion engine and still be pretty green even though they might be fitted with a v12 so now let's jump into Photoshop here and let's have a look at this Jeep EV for to, to start with I think this looks really really cool it definitely looks like it's based on the compass which is not a bad thing as I said I think this is uh, going to appeal to first-time EV buyers more than buying for example you know one of these bean shapes for the, the, the EV6 or or the Tesla Model Y and so on they look weird in proportions but this looks like a traditional small SUV you can have a look at the front end I really like this mask in the front end and we have a really cool integration of the daytime running light and the headlights in this section right here so it's a nice black framing you have the daytime running light up here and this looks pretty much production ready and then you have the uh, major headlight down here in this black part almost hidden in daytime you can barely see where the headlights are and I think that creates a really cool graphics for, for the front end and there is also no mistake in this for anything else than a Jeep because you have of course the grill traditional 
grill Jeep here, which been sort of electrified, if you want to call it that, with some blue graphics inside of it, but it still looks really, really cool. Now, having a look at the rear view, same thing here. I like the insets here with the black graphic, and it kind of feels like the taillight sits inside of this black graphic, almost inside of a hole. And overall, the proportions of this thing, it just looks very planted to me. It looks really good. It looks slimmer than what it is, and that's where we want to talk about graphic design, because have a look at the black pieces and how farther up they go on the body, and then you have the same black graphic in the greenhouse up here, creating a very slim and kind of light design for this type of proportions. And I really like that. And then you have the same graphic, of course, the cl uh, plastic cladding going around the, uh, the wheel arch, further reducing the weight of the car. And this is a problem that I thought the Nissan Leaf had. I want to show you the redesign that I did on the Sketch Monkey channel. As you can see right here, it looks very heavy. So what I did in the redesign was doing exactly what Jeep did here to the Jeep EV and added some blast plastic cladding onto this design and also lowering the, the, the black part on the A-pillar to go a little further down down here in addition to the black plastic going up here not as far up as we have on the Jeep but as you can see it still creates this visual lightness in the design it's the same proportions I did a little changes in the front end right here as well with the sharp corner but that said the proportions are still the same I changed out the wheels added some black graphic to the design to make it look slimmer and I think that's what needed on this I usually don't like adding plastic cladding to designs to make them look more rugged but in this case I really think it helped out the Nissan Leaf design and Jeep did this in a really cool way as well by adding this black pieces onto this design and it's a Jeep so this has an actual function with having this black cladding all around the car and what I really like about this as well is this piece the yellow body panel sticking out this high in the C pillar that's another change that I actually did on the Nissan Leaf here you can see it doesn't have it right here but it does have it on the redesign the reason I did that is to create a full forward moving movement or some dynamic feeling in the body colored pieces and surfaces of the car. If we don't have this, if this were to be black, it's going to be a very static looking design with two different separate uh, pieces. You have the top part right here and then you have the lower box right here, which is everything else. By having this little fin sticking out here, you create some interesting movement in the design. Unfortunately, I don't have this car in a side view, but if I would show you in a side view, you can see that it looks like it's almost being pulled forward or pushed forward by this little piece of design or wing that sticks up on the C or D pillar. Now, I want to show you the second highlight here. That This is the teaser images for the Ram pickup truck. And if it is better than all the competitors in the aspects that matter, they said the range, the towing capacity, payload, and charging time. What matters to me in this case, it's not a zero to 60 time. It's probably going to have a zero to 60 time, something nuts like all the other ones, like three, four seconds for a big pickup truck. But what we're what really matters here for me is the range and the charging time. I think those are the two aspects or, or uh, limitations to current EVs. So if Ram says that they're going to beat the competition in those parameters, I'm really excited to see how they will get on with that. So far, the front end here looks like a Ram. This is a uh, evolution of the daytime running lights that we have on the Ram 1500 right now. I think this is going to be a really clean, sleek looking thing. And it looks like it's gonna have sort of a similar angle that we have on the Chevy Silverado EV and I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing a lot of people don't like that because it kind of interrupts or interferes with the bed length and the function of the bed but in from a design standpoint it looks a lot better having an angle back here and I think this is good as I said I'm looking forward to see this the graphics front and rear looks really cool and I can't wait to see what they do with the rest of the body of this thing and seeing this from a side view I really want to compare it to the Silverado EV because it looks like it's going to be closer to the Silverado EV than the Ford F-150 Lightning for example. Very cool concept and news from Stellantis to focus on electric cars. As I said I wish there was still a place in the marketplace uh, for internal combustion engines but it, was, it seems like we're moving away from that. We're gonna see how that evolves. I know there are some companies, big companies, that are still claiming that there is still a way to make internal combustions more efficient 
and more environmentally friendly and I think that is the case if we just do some more research into those technologies. With that said I'm really excited to see this Jeep EV out on the streets and specifically the Ram 1500 and if it lives up to the bold claims that Ram themselves and Stellantis has put out that it will be better than every competitor in the most important aspects.